All right, guys. Uh, welcome. This is Jay's Brain, and I'm Jay, and we're gonna start off a little Spec Racer Ford race. Uh, one of my favorite cars still. I I've been running this car pretty much ever since I started uh, i racing. Back in the day when I actually ran Formula 2000 cars in real life, uh, I was really interested in these little Spec Racer Fords too because they were pretty much the same power. They're really inexpensive to get into, one of the most inexpensive cars to race. Pretty much the same car as well, except they just had fenders. So I was always kind of interested in these. And with iRacing, now you can run them. Great part about that is it's free. This is free part of the content, so figured we'd run a few shows of this. And this is a great race. It's, it's turned out to be a tough battle the whole time with the, the top three. Ah, and you see right here, really had to slow down for the David in the green and blue car. Uh, he took that way wide, it slowed us down, and uh, this other guy's coming up on me. Yeah, you saw there, we just bounced off each other on that corner. I, that guy right there, so I let him go by. Oh, and a couple guys slide out behind us. Uh, one dude slid out, causing the other guy to kind of overcorrect, and come into it at least neither one of them you know got damage cruising along and as you notice yes I do uh, you can pre-shift in iRacing just a little bit and you'll notice me doing that well I'll shift it first and then I'll clutch for to, to have the extra shift uh, it was nice of that guy he let me uh, come back up into third I mean because I had to slow down for these guys and so All right, lap one down. Still cruising along in third place, kicking it along pretty good. Mid Ohio is awesome. I love the flow of this track. This track is really cool. Spec Racer Ford, it feels a little long, but it gets interesting after these straights. You know, watching these two guys in front of me, that David dude that flew up, flew up past both of us, he's a number five car. Um, but yeah, it looks like the pressure's getting to him, folks. It looks like the pressure's getting to him a little bit. He can't really handle that. Coming into that corner a little too fast. I'm actually thinking here that these guys are going to probably take themselves out, so I should just hang back and relax and not try to battle them. This red car in front of me, he's quick and he's another David. So I got two Davids in front of me in first and second. You watch that green car, that, that lime green car, he's, yeah, he's kind of, yeah, his rear end's a bit loose. He's kind of sliding all over, yeah. Pressure's getting to him. Mm, I'm just looking in on there. Breaked a little early. He let me have that hole because. Notice how I just bump on him. I'm I'm pushing him because that other guy has a really good draft too, and I figured I'd try to give him as much extra push as I could just because I, I have no need to get in first yet it's not close to the end and sometimes that'll kick your butt you know it's either got a lot of pressure being in first or if you're in the back you're wor kind of worried about you know if these guys are gonna wreck or wreck themselves out not to be collected with them you know and take that 
Oh, we got another little slide out here. Oh, could be bad. Oh, it is. Oh, and he gets tagged. It takes two cars. I'm sure they're hurt. Yeah, David's pushing really, this green guy right here. He's pushing really hard. He's got some good lines and stuff, but he's just quite loose. I think he's overdriving it just a little much. It's in over his head. You know, and this corner is so hard to get perfect because you have such a long straight after you want to keep your, as much momentum as possible. The SRF is great for teaching you this corner, so when you move up to a faster car, this corner you can you can take well. Oh, I love that corner. Uh, and he... The green, David, he's calling balls out in the grass. At least he kept it together. I love all these blind corners. They, at first, when you first start driving this track, that's really hard to get down, but as you get them, you get the lines down, you just know where to corner or where to keep it straight over these hills. Love the elevation changes. Elevation changes in this track rock. Makes for a very hard track. Which has great flow once you get it down though. That corner is always a, kind of a rough corner, and you want to make it the best corner ever because you have such a long straight out here, and you want to take up as much, or you know, get as much speed as you can. really good battle going on I mean it, it goes on all the way it's just really tight we're all battling back and forth between us um, fourth place and beyond us has started uh, dropping away this isn't really a high strength of field uh, by any means um, there's a race that jumped in I think there was 12 cars to start with Such a great flow around those corners. Try to go as as minimal input as possible and just run it back and forth and left to right, swing it, sweep the sweeper up here and floor it on the gas up over that hill. Really fast cars, you can't do that though. You'll jump it. See guys, I encourage you all to jump in on these SRF cars. Rarely do they disappoint. You usually always have an awesome race with whatever competition level you're at. This is just flying along here. Going on lap six now. Still not in any big jump to go to the front. That's uh I'll just sit back here and watch this unfold, you know? Run along with these guys. Got plenty of room behind us, so it's no worries there. And instead of, you know, passing him, let's just push him. I'm gonna run him right up and get both of our speeds up there, and we'll catch David again and let. The other David, mess around with this David. Now, as 
lap traffic. He was nice enough to let us all by. Thank you. Ripping around this corner. It's once you catch that corner and you figure out, you know, you take it. I kind of go slower to start with and then try to just ram it out uh, through this straight. It's, it's a rough track, to, rough corner to, to mess around with. And hey, before you guys are, you know, start going off on me in the comments, oh, you're pre-shifting, you're doing the, you know what? Most of these guys are running with freaking paddle shifters and auto clutches and all that. So I have all uh, aids off. Um, I do everything manually. I blip shift and everything like that. So uh, since iRacing does let you pre-shift a little bit, I do it because uh, that way I can like take a drag of my ASIG or basically though for the most part it's I don't miss as many shifts I mean I don't hardly miss any shifts when I'm shifted normal anyway but I, I do have a tendency to miss well in iRacing for some reason it doesn't you, you miss shifts when I don't think you really should have missed it so I, I use that pre-shift trick it's Everybody can use it, so it's not like I'm gaining an advantage over anybody. Especially when most of these guys, like I said, are using paddle shifters, so. And I usually only pre-shift into fourth or fifth. You know, I don't, I, I rarely ever pre-shift a third. And pre-shifting's okay, but if you pre-shift, you better stay on the gas the whole time. If you lift a little bit, it'll knock it right into neutral. You won't get a shift, so it'll, you'll miss a gear. Or if you hit a bump, even if you're full bore and you and you hit a bump and it lifts the rear tire off, it'll it'll shift. So there is disadvantages to pre-shifting as well. Um, that's why I don't do it very often, but I, I I do do it. Hey, you guys loving this race so far? I mean, this is an awesome race. This thing is just back and forth the whole time. I'm just kind of watching it all unfold. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, this race is turning out. It's constant. Constant battling all the time. Now the red David is back in there. Green D David, it's uh, running really hard. He's really trying. I'm just kicking back here, running my laps. Nice and a comfortable third place, giving them enough room to hopefully I can, if they do, you know, get entangled up with each other or wreck out or something, I have enough room to get away from. Yeah, kicking up on this top corner. I like taking it wide to start and then cutting in and be full on the gas right into the rear. That was a little late. They were really late, so I didn't lose any ground. And yeah, I slowed down a little early on those for the braking. I gave them some room, because I'm in no big hurry to get in the lead right now. I mean, this is lap nine. That would mean I would have to stay in the lead for six more laps. Uh, 
that much pressure, I don't know if I want to deal with that. You know, and this whole time I'm thinking these two are going to get tangled up together and I'm going to get first place out of this and not really even have to work at it. So that's why I'm just hanging out. There's, there's no reason to really push super hard. This other David is just as fast as this other red guy. Oh, he slid out a little bit. Give him some of his track back. And I see this other David is uh, getting away. The red David, anyway. The red, red Dave. Yo, Dave's not here, dude. Yo, come back later. Dave went out to get the stuff. No, but this other Dave is trying to go get the stuff too. Anyway. Yeah, unfortunately, there's there's nobody really racing with us. Uh, the other guys have gotten back there far enough. It's not doing much. Cranking in these corners, and you know with. With the SRF, this is it's such a fun car because it's so competitive, um, but it's so equal with everybody else. I mean, there's guys that build some sets that are and are just freaking aliens. That I have one set that I run all year long. I make I, I rarely ever make any changes to it. It just uh, I found a good balance set I, or I made a good balance set out of the baseline and I'm like you know I'll, I'll just stick with it. The car seems good. Every time I jump into it, I don't have to practice a whole ton because I already know the car and I'm not making a bunch of changes to make the car, you know, really weird. Or turn better one way and not so much the other. Like this time I'm passing him. I'll get back around him and then and so I notice this red guy, he's, he's running away. side by side but I got him this time anyway full on got the inside lane taking full advantage of it it looked like actually that David uh, David pushed me a little bit which was nice of him Now I'm kicking along in second and less rage it. That was a lot faster than that green David and through this part anyway. Usually. We got another lap car ahead. I don't know if that's really gonna affect us too much. No, and it looks like I'm really starting to pull out away from that other David, so I won't have to worry about him pretty soon. You know, and this car is a great car to um, try new tracks out, to work on tracks, or take old tracks and, and run them and look for different lines, because you're going at a slower speed, so you can 
see everything better and it's not necessarily it's never really a good idea for, personally I never find it a good idea at all to take a really quick car fast race car and learn a new track and bad things tend to happen it takes forever to do it um, with these cars uh, this or the Mazda I prefer these over the Mazda just the community is better I think uh, but these are an excellent momentum car to learn just how fast you can take the corners and find those uh, lines in these corners that can take them really fast to where when you do get out to a faster car you can continue to use those lines um, I get a lot of people bitching at me that I don't break enough into the corners and that's because I run a lot of the, the spec racer Fords and the momentum car so I already know how fast I can take the corner and I tend to take the corner as fast as you can but with a race uh, you know much higher horsepower car you want to take the corner slower because you got all this horsepower to that'll get you right back up to speed on the straight uh, there that's the different mentality in that and that I do end up fighting with a lot uh, over racing from these cars go to the other ones I tend to uh, not break enough and I keep on telling my, you know, keep telling myself all that. I gotta keep breaking. And we get a little close. He like we touch. I mean, he was squeezing me right down to the far bottom, man. I was kind of like, dude, I'm like what the hell? Oh, oh, but there he goes. There he's sliding out in the back, and he just slid off. I don't know where he went. And I thought my car was a little damaged, but it wasn't. It just felt a little weird at first. I was just being very ginger with it because I thought maybe I might have screwed up the toe. But I don't think so because we had a zero contact. I mean, we barely bumped. I figured he was coming, gonna go out and basically give me more room, but instead he, he stayed right in the inside, held me down to the farthest bottom point, which was a disadvantage for both of us. Actually ended up being a huge disadvantage for him. He didn't give me any room and we ended up touching. I hope that didn't hurt his car though, but maybe he thought it did and he took off so it left the other David uh, that was back behind us a little ways in second now yeah, and I don't know why anybody does that the rage quit thing you know it, stuff happens he, he kind of slid off a little bit now did he toast his car you know because he we had we literally had probably 25 to 30 seconds ahead of the rest of the field um, I think fourth was a lot closer than that but uh, fifth and beyond was 25 to 30 seconds back I mean you know if he slid out the way he slid out it didn't look like he would have made big contact but I don't know I'll show you a replay or whatnot anyhow it didn't look like he made a huge contact he could have limped it over there got a free car and been out and been still in fourth place maybe fifth but instead he quits he gets pissed off probably pissed off at me thinking that I screwed him all up and screwed up his car when in fact it was uh, it, it was still it was both of our faults but at the same time I, I kind of lean in a little bit more towards his he didn't, didn't give me any room I clearly had the inside lane um, I it was ex I expected him to open up because uh, he cut off over half the track on me expected him to kind of widen out to get a faster run in there but he didn't uh, then we touched didn't look bad at all my car is still fine I thought his was too thought he just you know got into it a little too much and spun it around but I never quit never ever quit and I really don't get all that pissed off you know get a little frustrated sometimes but might yell at the guy going dude what the fuck you know what the hell was that all about but other than that I'm racing it till the end I usually always go across the finish line unless my car tells me I cannot go that's when I'll stop and with a spec racer Ford and the low end ones you definitely you got you got a free car so you turn off all your the fuel and the tires and you go in there and bam free car and how do you go so fall else fails oh make sure to limp it back there turn off all your stuff get your car and get back out on the track never give up
Worst thing to give up. Worst thing ever. Because he easily had a top five. He could have... He had no problem staying in top five for sure. He was definitely fast enough. Even if he did go back a ways, he would have had top five spot. that is it guys awesome race really good I had a problem with my mic because I had actually this mic in there and trying to talk to him and wasn't so doing my little victory I don't know do you want to call that a burnout or victory destroy the car I don't know yeah, that's that's what I'm doing. Making sure I'm trying to get it to where I, I can do a Brody. And sometimes you just gotta break this car a little bit in order to do a Brody. Here we go, here we go. Yay! Little donut, little donut. Oh, it doesn't get another one off. Boom, okay. And it's over. You guys have a great one. Uh like, follow, subscribe, blah blah blah, do all that other great stuff. Until next time guys, we'll see you out in the track.